My name is Blake Schwank, and thank you for joining us for this week's version of Cyber Saturday. A couple weeks ago on June 2nd, the White House published a memo to all business owners about the threats that they need to take seriously and how to remediate those threats or how to protect themselves from the threats. They listed five areas. Last week, we talked about backups. This week, we want to talk about patching your systems and the software that runs on your systems. Uh, there are thousands of exploits, actually way more than that, of known vulnerabilities on software, whether it's Microsoft, Mac, Adobe, all these companies that build software, there are exploits that, that hackers find and need to get away in. So how do we combat that? Microsoft, my, uh, you know, Apple, Adobe, all release patches that need to be applied on a regular basis. Not once every year, not once every six months, they need to do it on a regular basis. So we do that internally. We use an automated system and that's the way to do it. Take an automated system that downloads the latest patches and pushes it out to all of your users. That does force computers to reboot. We used to allow people to make that decision whether or not to reboot their computers. We don't do that anymore. The risk is so huge that we actually force those computers to reboot on a regular basis. And we push those uh, patches out every week to everybody that we take care of. You need to make sure you're doing that internally. How do you know if it's happening? You go to your IT department and ask them to run you a patch report of your software and take a look at that. It will show you how to um, what the current status is of all your updates on your computers. What do you do if you're at home? What do you do if you only have two computers, three computers? Make sure you go into the settings on Windows and Mac. On Windows, it's easy. You go down to the little search bar, type in Windows updates. It opens up and make sure that your updates are current. If they're not, do a manual run of them and make sure that they're set to run automatically. That helps protect you from getting breached. Uh, because those 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 attacks are out there. It also exists on larger platforms. Microsoft Exchange was breached a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, and they used a known vulnerability for people that had old copies of Microsoft Exchange in-house. So not only your, your computers, make sure you're looking at your servers, making sure you're looking at the server applications that you have. If you have any questions on this, please give us a call at Colorado Computer Support. We can sit down and talk to you. We can take a look at your patch report from... Uh, your, your IT guys let you know if it's good or bad. Uh, and uh, if you've got any questions, give us a call. Uh, we're experts at this. And our number is 719-439-0599. We can find us on the web, www.coloradosupport.com. Thank you very much and have a fantastic day and the rest of your weekend. And we'll see you next week.